people, today's video is all about my latest makeup haul and this one is specifically dedicated to Morphe. So yes people, I just bought a whole lot of Morphe brushes and I thought oh, let me just share them with you what all I have bought. And uh, I also got my hands on the Morphe eyeshadow palette, the 12S. And boy, look at those colors. I'm in love. I mean, I have I swatched them on my hand in the morning and like wow, I'm in heaven. So I'll just swatch a few colors just to show you how pigmented they are really. So one swatch. I haven't put an eyeshadow primer. Can you imagine what they're going to look if you apply them with an eyeshadow primer and uh, even with a wet brush for that matter of reason. So man, I'm totally delighted and this one just cost me about $16 which I think is quite a steal. I mean for $16 getting 4, for 8, 12 shades in a palette and actually I'm just, you know, I prefer smaller palettes. I don't like those huge big ass palettes I think it's just so much more convenient with a smaller palette specifically when you're traveling okay and the other thing that I have bought are brushes and I'm just gonna show you of course the most famous Morphe foundation brush M439 look at that it's just so dense and just so thick and in fact this morning I applied my foundation with it and uh, I mean what I like about it is that it just kind of because it's so dense it just you know just kind of does not spread all over the face it gives you great precision and uh, in fact this uh, this time when I applied my foundation with it I did not have to use a beauty blender so usually I, you know I kind of buff it with a brush and then I have to set that foundation in place a little bit with a beauty blender with this brush I didn't need to do it and there were no streaks at all and it is just so soft and just kind of moves in beautifully into the creases crease of the eyes, corners of the eyes, sides of the nose it's a dream so I'm just so glad I finally have it with me the next brush that I am going to show you is uh, the Morphe fan brush and this one is E33 and boy does it look fancy or what I totally love it I mean how cool is that so Actually, this can be quite a multi-purpose brush, you know, you can even apply a powder all over it, you can even contour with it, you can also use a highlight. Because I have so many contour brushes, I am just going to stick to my highlight or rather blending my highlight. And uh, so I am going to use this with another product that I just sourced, which is the Bacall Jacqueline Hill Champagne Pop and this is how this color looks like so I know in the midst of Morphe I'm adding another product but nevertheless it's a makeup call so this is another product that I just sourced and uh, I think this fan brush would just kind of apply that highlight beautifully on the cheekbones while blending it down right I think it totally works beautifully yeah love it and I love how dense it is also actually so you know it does not give you too much of a sharpness and the next brush that I have bought is the Morphe E20 now actually I saw a lot of youtubers using it and this brush kind of really intrigued me a lot and one of my students happened to own it so I thought key you know and I saw, usually I get to see a lot of brushes firsthand because somebody or the other one of my makeup students or one of my friends has it right so I saw this and one of my very close friends Ananya really recommended it to me so I thought let me so I mean when I see a lot of youtubers I usually see them use use this kind of on this area just to blend those harsh edges of the eyeshadows out but at the same time I feel it's too big for an eye area you know I mean if I would prefer a smaller brush for that however though I'm sure I can do it but I also thought that it was great to 
give a sharp cream contour and because it has this white tips I think a cream product will like really really blend out really good so you will see me using all these brushes very soon don't worry about it but this is the E20 right and then the next brush that I have got is the M513 and this is what it looks like right so uh, this is actually perfect for the crease line here it gives you it's not it has a slight point to it unlike the MAC 217 or the E25 Sigma brush that I'm very used to so this kind of gives you a certain amount of precision on the line so in case you want a precision transition line or a precision darker color coming towards the inside this is the brush to buy okay and uh, the next brush that I have sourced is the E17. So usually on the darker color that I do at the outer edges of my eyes, I've been using my MAC 217 or the Sigma E25 constantly. And usually what I did was, you know, just kind of took it right at the corner to darken it. Now this is the brush, the E17, it has, it, it's way smaller and it's a lot firmer, right? So it kind of gives you a lot more it packs on more color to the lid so i am going to use this to kind of give sharper darker, darker corners in case somebody wants it or it kind of a look demands it and uh, i love how soft these bristles are and uh, the next brush i have sourced is the e29 now it's just so perfect look at that a spoolie at one side and an angular brush at the other side I mean you can't get better than that brush those eyebrows and then just take your color and just fill it in so perfect for an eyebrow and uh, I also kind of got myself another spoolie because I'm constantly I mean I like I like to have at least two three of the same brush so a spoolie at the other end and an eye eyelash comb or an eyebrow groomer at the other end you know perfect to Clean away your clumpy mascara from your eyes before the mascara gets dry. Let's not forget that. And of course, a spoolie just to brush your eyebrows into place. And the last brush that I'm going to talk about is the Morphe 501. Now, this is the brush that comes highly recommended by Jacqueline Hill to apply a highlighter. And uh, let me do it. So I'm applying a Jacqueline Hill highlight only with the same brush. And uh, so what this brush does, it gives you precision. Obviously, this is, your cheekbone is right here. And with this brush, it kind of blends it out, yet it kind of packs the product on much better. So what I would say that if I apply it with this brush, it gives me a softer highlight. And in case I do the same thing with this brush, it gives me a stronger highlight because there's more precision. You can apply more pressure with it. All right. So that completes my Morphe haul and I hope you liked it. And um, of course, I have bought all these brushes after I had already tried them and I saw hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos to be very sure that I got the right brushes. And uh, I mean, I know this is a Morphe haul, but I also want to show you this gorgeous, beautiful blush that I bought from Too Faced. It's called the Sparkling Bellini. This is a new launch. And I thought that on those, the most beautiful colors for, a, for Indian skin tone. I mean, a beautiful peach. I mean, the way a peach blush looks on Indian skin tone, I don't think a pink would ever look like that. So I just love these colors. And uh, I'll just sweep it onto my cheekbones. Sorry, onto my cheeks. Just to show you how the color looks. Let me see if we can get a close up of this. I wasn't blurring out. Love it. So basically, the idea is to sweep the color across and then apply it so that you get a mix of all three colors and in case you prefer a certain shade you can just apply more pressure there and lesser pressure there but however I feel all the three colors mixed together look absolutely gorgeous I can't wait this way to use the sunlight bright specifically all those wearing those red gorgeous nangas because I have been using the NARS orgasm forever and you know as a makeup artist also you need to make a difference 
And the difference you can make is by changing your staple products. I mean, of course, we all have our go-to products and I'm gonna do a video on that too soon. My go-to products, I mean, things that I cannot do without. Like, even if I have the sparkling bellini today, I think that Nars Orgasm is my go-to blush. I love that color. And uh, just to end this video, I am gonna show you my Nars Eda brush. So this is the brush I have been eyeing for the longest time and I kept thinking $55, $55, boy that's steep, you know. I know, I mean, just a thing, I mean, for, I mean, I could have bought like five more Morphe brushes for the same price, however, I just kind of gave in and I have finally got this color and I think it gives great precision, the sharpness, even to the lightest of colors and uh, here I am gonna use my MAC uh, bronzer in dark deepest and I just dip this and look at that precision I love I love so you can apply and blend with it and you can blend with it because the bristles are so soft now I have also got this brush you know the old collection by Real Techniques so in this brush you can apply it but blending with it not possible that's because the bristles are really stiff so with the NARS Eater brush because the bristles are kind of soft and they kind of move you know you can apply and blend with it apply and blend with it and look at how it just comes on to your jawline so beautifully and in fact somebody like me who does not really do a lot of nose contour on myself for me to even contour my nose with this brush voila like like that so that was my makeup haul and uh, tell me what you think and tell me about your favorite product so if you like this video of mine give me a big thumbs up i know there's nothing too much to like about i was just telling you about my products